An Indiana father is searching for answers after his daughter was shot and killed while visiting friends here in St. Louis. It's been almost a week since Shaquayla Garvin was killed in North St. Louis County. Investigators describe this as a drive-by shooting. New at 10 tonight, News 4's Emma Hogue spoke with Garvin's father. He says what the family wants now is to give her a proper burial. Able to make you laugh out the blue. She had a real sweet and kind personality. Six days later, Marcus Jackson says he's still in disbelief. He spoke with News 4 about his daughter over FaceTime from his home in Fort Wayne, Indiana. You, know, you just go for a simple vacation or to visit friends and you go. Mm -hmm. Jackson says 22 year old Shaquayla Garvin traveled from Fort Wayne to St. Louis to visit friends. He recalls the last conversation the two had before she was gunned down. Hey, Dad, I'm like, hey, how you doing, baby? You okay? Yeah, Dad, I'm doing okay. You having fun? Yeah, I'm just down here with my friends. And I was like, okay, baby, be safe. Call me in the morning. But instead, Jackson got a call from police Monday morning. Investigators explained the mother of four was killed sitting in a car during a drive-by shooting on North Broadway near Halls Ferry Road. No other passengers were injured. You don't expect to get a call saying your child is gone and then on top of that, a victim of violence. News 4 captured footage of the shattered window that morning. Investigators say the incident started in the county near Wilbert and Marveline Drive. Everybody's standing up and strong for the kids to try to make it as easy as possible for them. But Jackson says funeral plans are on hold. Relatives are still working to raise enough money to bring Shaquayla back to Indiana. To bring her back. It's already looking at like close to $2,000. A price Jackson says will help his family find closure. Just want to see her one, you know, one more time. In North City, Emma Hogue, News 4. This is a joint investigation between both city and county investigators. Anyone with information is urged to call Crime Stoppers. The family has started a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses. We have posted that link on our KMOV News app.